are currently at our first vet visit. He does not know how to feel about it. So they just took him back in and they're giving him his shots now. He needed some shots because he is just one years old and he had some coming up. So I'm getting those for him now and I'm just a little nervous because I hear him barking and I don't think he's a vet guy, which is fine. But I'm just like, oh, this is so crazy. I feel like I'm taking my kid to the doctor, literally. My little cuddle bug right here. <laughs> He's so wild. He just like jumped up on our ottoman when you guys are on. Vinny! <laughs> like I was saying, we just got back home from the vet. And wow, I have a lot to update you guys on. Vinny's going to just be doing his thing as I try to explain. <laughs> He really wants to play. I finally got him to calm down so I can talk to you guys. He's gonna be squeaking on this ball a bit. Also, they're doing maintenance outside. This is just the perfect time to do this. <laughs> so uh, we just got home from the vet and excuse the chaos that you just witnessed in that little montage I made of chaos. We had a very interesting experience at the vet and I'm a new dog mom. So I wanted to kind of share it like a story time because I don't know how to feel about it. Um, actually, I do know how to feel about it. I'm quite upset, mad, angry, annoyed, frustrated. Yeah. So I looked for a vet the other day once I adopted him because he's so fresh and new and he also has ear issues and he is 12 months old. So he needed one of his first adult vaccines and he also needed some heart guard and flea and tick prevention so i was like well i need to get in right away and like get this checked out and let him be seen i had to <laughs> he's right there i need to just get him on some medicine and stuff i took him to a vet close to where we live thinking it was going to be like great i don't know if i went into the situation being naive or what but I didn't really know much to expect. And when I went in, it all seemed kind of fine. And they were like, hey, when you get here, call us and we'll let you in. So I called, they let us in and they put me and him in a waiting room. Well, first of all, he could smell so many dogs in that waiting room. He like went around just sniffing the whole entire thing. And I was like, okay, cool. It was time for him to go get some shots and his average checkup and everything he needed to get done. I had no idea that they take your dog from you and like take it to a completely different area. That's just me being naive, so whatever to that. But I already know he's pretty attached to me and his first owner passed away and I knew him being taken from me and not being able to see me scared him. Granted, he just got out of the shelter six days ago. So I'm already knowing he's probably going to be freaking out and not feeling super comfortable and I was really confused as to why I couldn't go with him. But I didn't ask questions because I'm not a vet and this was my first time. So I just let it happen. And once he went back there, all of a sudden I hear a bark and I've never heard him bark unless he's put in a crate for a small amount of time. He does not like it that much. So I was like, well, what's going on? And I automatically was like, is that Benny? I was like, Benny doesn't bark. He doesn't bark at people that walk by. He does not bark at other dogs. This boy does not bark unless you put him in his crate because he feels lonely. So I was very confused. I was like, well, maybe that's not Benny, but it sounded kind of like the bark I've heard once before, but I was like, maybe it's not him. Hoping for the best and stuff and thinking maybe it wasn't him. And all of a sudden I hear this little yelp and I'm like, is that my dog? And of course I have no one to ask questions to because they left the room and left me in this cold, empty room. And so this old man, I'm talking, I don't know, like, Old man, like I'm talking past retirement comes in and he's obviously the vet, not the vet tech. And he's telling me all about my dog and stuff, all about his vaccines and everything. And then all of a sudden he tries to tell me that Benny needs obedience training. And I was like, what do you mean Benny needs obedience training? I'm like, am I not understanding? This also isn't me sticking up for like my animal and like trying to be naive and stuff. Like I'm literally serious, but he came fully trained and it makes sense because his first owner passed away. So they obviously trained him as a puppy to be a good boy. Maybe I should move. I'm gonna move cause he's literally <laughs> crazy. I had to move because he's being wild and you guys were set on this. 
but this is his bed. He's made it known this is his bed. I was like, I might as well just move at this point because he won't let me film if I don't. <laughs> like I was saying, throughout PetSmart, we were realizing he came fully trained. We didn't know anything prior other than knowing his first owner had passed away. I'm literally covering his junk with my hand. I loved him so much that I was willing to go through whatever I needed to get. Like, come on. Like, come on. Look at that face. All I needed to know was in that face, okay? Throughout PetSmart, we realized he was fully trained and we were so shocked. We were all shocked because my boyfriend told him to sit, he sat, and then he told him to lay down, he laid down, and then we told him to shake, and he shook hands. And then when I got home, I randomly tried high five and he jumped and high fived me. And I was like, yo, we got lucky with this dog. So back to the story. The vet comes in and tells me that I immediately need to get obedience training for my dog. And I was like, why, what are you talking about? And he was like, well, we tried to put him on a table and give him shots and he barked at us. And I was like, I was thinking to myself, like who wouldn't? Like I would do that as a kid. I had to have five nurses hold me down to give me a shot. So like makes sense, you know? Like why would a dog wanna be held down to be given a shot? Like you think he's not gonna react in any type of way? And it was, he was like trying to tell me I automatically needed to get obedience training for my dog because he was just so aggressive and stuff. And if anyone who meets Benny knows, he is the most lovable, cuddly, goober dog you've ever seen in your whole entire life. Like, yeah, that's Benny, right? That, that's Benny. So I'm sitting there pretty much just in shock, like taking everything that the vet's telling me in. And I was just like, is my dog not the dog that I thought I had? And I was like, well, what happened? And I asked him and he's like, well, he nipped at me, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay. So then the vet tech comes in and I'm like, hey, can I ask you a question? Was Benny okay with you? And she was like, yeah. He just didn't really seem to like the vet that much. And other than that, he was really playful with the rest of the staff. And I was like, literally all I needed to know. All I needed to know. And I realized that Benny just did not sense good things from the vet. And I was like, so you're coming in here, sir, telling me that I need to get my dog obedience training just because he didn't want to get a shot and didn't do well through getting a shot. Honestly, like most kids, most animals, most people don't really do well getting shots. Maybe people, but like most kids and animals don't do well getting shots. So I wasn't like super shook to the core that my dog was like crazy when getting a shot. I was just really annoyed and frustrated that literally the whole time I was at this vet, I was basically told about obedience training versus how my dog is and like things to help him with his ear issues and stuff and his skin issues. I just was rubbed the wrong way and will not be going back there. And I am a new dog mom, so I wanted to share my story with you guys because I'm like, this, this sucks, like that sucks. Don't tell me that my dog needs obedience training and then make me feel crazy when I tell you he came fully trained and you look at me like I'm dumb and naive and stupid and don't know what I'm talking about. You spent five seconds with my dog and gave him something painful, whereas I've spent multiple days with my dog and seen how he interacts with a lot of different people. I understand the vet is a lot more specialized in things than me, but I'm like, you cannot tell me just by meeting my dog for five seconds that he needs obedience training when you don't know him, like we've all known him. I was just really mad, really angry, and I thought that they could have gone over things more with me, how to help his ears, how to help his skin and stuff. And they really didn't, other than telling me about their obedience school that I'm pretty sure they're like partnered with to get people into. Yeah, I was just pissed. I was like, do not try to sell me on stuff and make me feel bad about my dog and my experience. It just wasn't cool. So I will be looking for another vet. That's fun, but Benny's worth it. And we're going to find a good one that takes care of him and makes him feel loved. And that's honestly all that matters to me at this point. And I knew he didn't like the vet guy's vibe, especially because he did well with all the other girls and like workers there. So I was like, yeah, we're going to find you someone that takes care of you and has better bedside manner for a dog. He's like, yes, mom. Yes, mom. I texted a lot of people in my family, a lot of friends to get their feedback. And they were like, that's so unprofessional and like not cool. Like if you have a bad feeling about it, take him somewhere else. And like, that shouldn't be how it went down. Or take him somewhere that'll actually help him versus try to sell me into obedience school. I don't know, it just really made me angry. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I've seen a lot of videos talking about this and stuff, and I just have been filming my journey with him so far and want to continue filming it and stuff, especially because I'm such a new dog mom and it's so interesting and fun to me, and I'm learning so much, and I just realized that 
it is what it is. And if your gut's telling you to go somewhere else, go somewhere else. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you for all the love and support, especially with me getting Benny. It means the world to me. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.